Hey everyone, Tony D with another hot take and this one is about Minneapolis and why it's going to turn into a hellscape on earth, I guess you'd say. Um, the president of the city council of Minneapolis was just on CNN, not only explaining why they're going to abolish the police department, but why even calling for help means you're you're, you're uh, using your privilege. Um, these woke idiots have taken over the government in Minneapolis and they're gonna do things right. No, they're not, in my opinion. Um, they uh, use Camden, New Jersey as an example, but uh, that's not an example in this case because what they did in Camden, New Jersey is they didn't abolish the police department. They got rid of the union police and replace them with a metro police. See, union police are in a union, and they're more, I don't know, I guess you'd call them old school, the way they operate and the way they're structured. Metro police are more closer to private police force, kinda. They, they run just differently. They don't have a union, and uh, in some respects, I think that's an improvement. Now, I could go into why the the Camden Metro has got some issues with surveillance and whatnot. There's cameras everywhere. Uh, in some respects, it's kind of like an open air prison. But um, I'd rather tell you what I think's gonna happen to Minneapolis. Now, Minneapolis, they want to abolish the police and understand that the woke idiots running the government think they know better. They think they could come up with something else, right? So, um, if they believe you're too privileged to, uh, you know, call up and say, oh my God, someone's breaking into the house. Well, the first thing that's going to happen is anyone with any sense, and I urge anybody listening to this, get out of Minneapolis now. Sell your house, sell your business, sell everything. Because whatever price you can get for it today will probably be the highest price you're going to get ever until they burn down the whole place. So uh, so that's going to happen. It's going to be like psh, people leaving in droves. I mean, the city, half the city burned down. Already people are leaving and packing up. The next thing that's going to happen is all the corporations and their various franchises are not going to reopen. Why would they? You don't have a police department. <laughs> and they're already unable to explain what they will have in its place. They put out a statement that read in part, well, we're not totally sure what's going to happen, but we have confidence in our local people. Oh, do you? Well, maybe you should meet some of your local people, especially the ones that are running North Minneapolis because as I read on one of the blogs that follows these things, there are anywhere from six to eight crime families operating in Minneapolis. Now these guys are compared to New York, let's say, or probably small potatoes, but understand that criminal gangs have guns, they're not afraid to use them, and uh, they will continue to thrive in this environment and they'll be overjoyed. They'll be on the moon when they hear you're going to dismantle the police department. Because what they're going to do is expand. Uh, now, first off, you got a lot of people who are out of work. You got a lot of people who are broke. And a lot of people uh, who, you know, they just live in burned out neighborhoods now. Those people are poor. And they are perfect to either add to the ranks of your gang or get addicted to drugs. Now, if they join your gang, you kind of want them to stay off the drugs, but if they get addicted to drugs, well, you've got customers. The problem with those customers is they don't have jobs. They're just addicted to your drug. So they got to beg for money and do whatever they can. They got to rip out pipes and, you know, take it to the, the, the recycling place, whatever they got to do to make just enough money to get that fixed, man problem is the city's falling apart, right? I mean, no one's going to come into the city. So after they loot the burned out McDonald's and 
AutoZone and all those places. Once every store and major chain avoids your city like the plague, there'll be fewer and fewer people to rob. And so they'll get more and more desperate. On top of the fact, you're going to have new gangs popping up. You know, guys that are just desperate. They couldn't move out of the city for whatever reason. So they get together and they decide to knock over some of the businesses that are left. Liquor stores, pawn shops, uh, you know, fast food places like Chinese takeout owned by a local who can't seem to get it together to leave. Maybe he's holding on. He's got shutters. He's got bars. He's even got a, a, a gun. But, I mean, there's only so many businesses left in the city, right? They're going to rob him eventually and multiple times. And who's he going to call? No one. So the only businesses left are going to be businesses that stick it out, that have armed guards, shutters, bars. It's going to be like Fort Knox. It's going to be like, you know, like every dystopian movie you've ever seen. When they close for the night, man, they're going to wrap the building in metal and lock it down like you haven't seen. But even that won't be enough because eventually they'll just run out of places to rob. And they're going to want to go to the places that are locked up and they're going to hit it with a blowtorch and they're eventually going to get in there. And then, you know, the guys who run the place are just going to be like, oh my God, we got to get out of here. And eventually... These drug gangs are going to expand all over the city. I mean, no one's there to stop them. Do you think your therapy sessions and your woke rhetoric is going to stop them? Oh, they'll join in the marches and pretend like they're into it too. <laughs> you dummies. Uh, but, you know, it's not like the Sopranos where Tony Soprano went to a therapist. That's fiction. If, Tony, if a guy like Tony Soprano actually went to a therapist, that would be a sign of weakness. That would be a reason to kill him. Just murder him. Nah, you don't want a guy flapping his gums about your criminal enterprise to a total stranger who's not even in the organization. No, 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 no. He has to go. Besides, he's weak. He's going to a therapist. These guys don't go to therapists. They're sharks. They're human sharks. They have an animal instinct because they have to have it. You don't just you don't just have street smarts. You have to be able to look at a guy, size him up, and know whether or not he's going to try to kill you. Or that he's going to work with you, at least for now. That's the kind of street smarts we're talking about here. You need to be able to survive. You need to be able to recognize a guy who will eventually one day try to kill you, but you use him for a while. And then you set him up, and then you kill him. That's the way it is in the criminal underworld. It's dog eat dog. And they will do and say anything to get what they want. Lying? Huh, come on. They lie like people breathe. It's effortless. And it's convincing. They're going to come at you. And they're going to tear down the government after a while. You know, for a while, they'll hide behind you because you're woke idiots thinking that you're trying to help the city. But they will tear it apart block by block. Every institution will be robbed and reduced to nothing because eventually they'll run out of customers and they'll run out of places to rob. At that point, you're going to have to stand up to them. And the moment you do, they will be so entrenched. They will have people in your office knowing way ahead of time what you're doing. And they will obliterate you if they choose to. Now, they may not because they may be, have the forethought to say, well, if we destroy the government, then they'll send the army in and kill us all. But eventually, they're going to get at you. They're going to get at your families and they're going to make you do whatever they want. Sorry, low battery. Um, you have to keep, if not the police force, some kind of law enforcement. Okay? If you dismantle the police force and replace it with counselors, health and human services... 
they will raid the offices of Health and Human Services. They'll take every scrap of thing that's sellable or valuable and it will be gone. Every dime you pour into your programs will be torn out by these drug gangs because you won't have the power to do one damn thing to them. They are ruthless and they'll get increasingly ruthless because as they destroy parts of the city, there's just nothing else left. And eventually they'll have to start going further and further out. It's kind of like in zombie times, you know, when people have to go raiding for food, for leftover food, they'll have to move further and further away. And then soon you'll have neighboring communities having your drug gangs attack them and then go back to the city to hide. And soon they'll have to start walling off sections of your city to keep your people from getting to them. That's what's in your future. And then you'll be begging, begging the National Guard to come and clean the place out. You'll beg them. You won't just ask them. You'll beg them. And you'll be forced to beg the federal government for the funds to reestablish a new police force and remove these criminal drug gangs who have completely decimated your city. And then Republicans will completely take it over. And they're, they're, them and their friends will buy up the real estate in Minnesota for nothing because you'll have no other choice because they won't come in unless you agree to their terms. Your woke program will go down the tubes. Even as you get interviewed on uh, Good Morning America or The View and say, well, we, we had all these great intentions, but you know it was really the outside world that ruined it all. No, it's you. It's you and your woke idiocy. Um, you need a police force. Just uh, Google the Murray Hill riots as Voltaire uh, said in his video. Um, for 16 hours, the Montreal Police Department went on strike and there were like six bank robberies, a bunch of fires, and all kinds of criminality. 16 hours. Now imagine that every day in Minneapolis. You kind of start to get a picture of what's going to happen when the last cop leaves Minneapolis. Oh, and by the way, those cops, they're not only not going to have a job, they're not going to live in Minneapolis anymore. I mean, there's nothing for them to do. They're going to become cops in other cities. They're going to get the hell out. Anybody with any sense is going to move the hell out. You'll be left with the people who are stuck there. And they'll just go to you and be like, help us. And you'll be like, well, we, we have these wonderful human service programs. All the computers have been stolen, but we're, we're looking into replacing them. And, you know, we respect your pronouns. There's a drug gang in my neighborhood. They, they've killed like three people. Well, have you tried addressing their concerns? That's what you get with these woke morons. It's going to be embarrassing, and the Democrats will get the blame. This is what you get with extreme leftist politics. You get a nightmare.